um i just woke up you can see i'm trying to get this video done because after our you all know how your neighbors have that annoying gen that never dies yes we have the same neighbors here they'll turn it on and i won't be able to do anything all day till they turn it off which is you know in the evening and who turns their gen off in the evening in nigeria exactly you turn it on in the evening in nigeria not during the you know what anyway i'm going to get into this video you know from the title of the video you know what we are going to be doing today we are going to be shaving off the face yes the first time i did it was mad the first step to doing that is actually um using this simple refreshing facial wash i have been using this for a while we're going to use this to, to wash our face and then <sighs> oh yeah yeah i really wasn't having a great time in case you can notice because i'm just so perfect i'm a good actor i can't help it um the night before i was having a terrible day okay so i if you are on my newsletter oh my friend you probably know this we celebrated this i had huge news which i shared and the night before i realized oh my god that that wasn't hang on let me i'll come back i'll come back this part from Miniso. And I'm going to use my toner. I use my toner with water on my face because whatever toner I use, it usually becomes a little bit, a little harsh on my skin without the water. So I leave the remainder of the water on my face. So I just put a little bit and then I use the second step. So now, as we wait for it to, to dry out, we practice our meditation. So this next step will require a paper towel and this, an oil of any sort, and this, a blade. I got this at next. You can't get it uh, where the shaving stick is. I have to go to the beauty counter and you have to ask them for eyebrow trimmer. That's what they call it. Here, let me show you this. You see the thing I'm talking about, right? But whenever I shave it off, it just everything my face becomes just perfect. Like all of this just disappears. Ah, the beauty. I want to start with this one. This is very important, okay? I will continue my story, but just let me tell you one thing. You want to shave downwards so any position that you feel good for you because honestly um different strokes for different folks and that was what i did i watched a lot of youtube videos but this was what i ended up doing and you can see i have a lot of hair on my body sorry on that side of my face um yeah so i was just shaving it down anyway the news i had because it's more important obviously you care about this i know you've been wanting to hear it okay let me shut up and just tell you is that naturally i have two dimples yeah so the other one started to come out so i have three dimples now which gave me a boost up to becoming an enigma and i've always wanted to become an enigma so i told everybody about it i was really happy guess what happened the night before i realized that my third dimple that i was very excited about that everybody almost threw a party for i was actually uh, planning that turned out to be hyperpigmentation in that particular area so now i am just a regular two dimpled individual with hyperpigmentation there went my chance of becoming an enigma down the drain i was very very unhappy i decided the best idea for me is to redecorate my room because i was i needed to fill that void of enigmatization that is not a word i don't think that is a word Anyway, I was putting the look at all the last stuff that I got just from that side. Okay, you'll see a picture. So I just add it off and clean it, and this is what we have. Okay, so now I am just putting more oil. So this helps with the gliding down. Okay, gliding up in this case. Well, anyway, this is very more very much important. I figured, you know. I should do decorate my room. That will make me feel better. Yeah, change up things. You know, spice it up a little bit. Yeah, I didn't factor in my old age. Again, at all. I don't oh have a lot of oil on my forehead, but I have dead skin cell. Please let me check this. Hang on, I have to Google this dead dry skin, dead dry cell. I'll be back. So yeah, according to Google, it's dead, dead dry skin. 
so basically even if you don't have facial like hair on that forehead area you can actually do this because it will help help you get all of rid, rid of all of that and then refresh in your skin anyway i didn't factor in the fact that i'm very old for this redecoration thing in the middle of the night which yeah bad timing and i was actually very hungry so you know to redecorate you have to actually change things up everywhere everywhere has to go like everything 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 oh my god so here i was in the middle of the night unable to fit in my wardrobe because it was so difficult to move around hang on let me explain this step so now i'm just putting um oil on that t region area around my nose because i have a huge nose i'm shaving off the mustache area of my face um yeah this i've never done this before actually but it's quite it's quite cool i've never shaved like until i started to do dharma plan i've never done this particular aspect of shaving off that particular mustache i don't know why i'm saying particular way too much anyway um yeah that is very important to step to do see all of that that is actually a dead dry skin that you are seeing yes, yes, that that's on this step. side this is all the hair that i got great and i'm taking that off as well anywho i want to quickly say this before this video ends um i did all of that i was trying to watch eat and redecorate at the same time you know because i am such a superwoman <laughs> i am not turned out that i am not a superwoman i have a huge nose look at that so i have to get every corner and that took forever now that you see it on camera i had like a, a lot of footage honestly because see my nose is not a small nose Okay, I have a big nose. I am black, African, and also Libyan. So all of this factor in actually also Nigerian. I am a lot of things. Anyway, I ended up with my bed next to my mirror with my um, dresser on top of the bed. So I was sharing a dresser with my bed. Everything was just very chaotic. Woke up, decided to have a coffee, and guess what? Yes, a fly decided to take swimming lessons on my coffee. In my coffee. I was unhappy, so I decided to film this. Let's do a thorough investigation and see. Let's see. This is definitely gone. This is gone. See. And then. This. Gone. Oh my god. This is it. That is the end of that video. I have done dharma planning. I saw a video on YouTube. And I was like, okay, I want to try this. And I didn't even know that I had hair on my face until I did it. Because I've not even taken out even this one. I took it out. People are afraid that it will grow back, you know, forcefully. It will grow back thick. It will grow back faster. It doesn't grow back faster. It doesn't grow back thicker. In fact, for me, it's, I think it's even the hair that came back was softer than the hair that left. And my face, all overall, it feels so smooth. Like, um, I feel... I feel like my face is breathing but there's also one thing that you have to be careful about this is that for the first three days after after your dharma planning after you shave off your face it's going to be um, um a bit more sensitive than your usual skin type do you understand so you want to let it breathe you don't want to be touching touching your face you don't want to be applying too many products on your face you just want to like just wash it let it do what it does for me those in fact for a whole week i just use this just use this Unless I'm going out and I put on a sunscreen, but that's about it. I don't put too much product because I'm just trying to let it do what it does because you've peeled it off. You've the dry cells, the dead dry cells are no longer there. So it's it's raw. You've just shaved it off. It's let it rest, let it breathe. Don't be touching your face too much. But honestly, I don't see a con. I don't see why you shouldn't do this, honestly. And you can do it from your the comfort of your home and it's just so it makes your face i feel as though no matter how i tell i didn't think this was going to be a thing for me when i saw it on youtube i was like okay fine I, there's a first impression video i was doing i'll still upload it but when i did it i didn't think it was something i was going to stick with um continuously but look at me now i have like this is the third time that i'm doing it and i honestly I, I love it and i'm glad i didn't give you a review till later because no even the first and even the first day that i did it I was so happy with it i was so happy with the results but i'm just so glad i was like okay let me let it let me do like two before i now give you guys the tea so yeah you are welcome so that is it please don't be touching and i'm touching touching by videos and don't be touching touching your face but no, don't worry my hands are absolutely clean and yeah you have a good looking face like this 
and everything just smooth. Oh god. Like my face actually feels like a baby's butt. Oh. You are welcome guys. Um, I'm going to go and have my breakfast.